pull up next to my paddle, on my paddle like this. I'm going to bring my paddle back here. And notice how my hand didn't move. My hand didn't move. And right before contact, I'm going to drop the ball and move my hand out of the way. Okay? Take a breath. Relax. That's a good serve. Look at your opponent for a second. Now hyper focus on watching the ball hit in the middle of your paddle. Again, I asked how many tennis plays we have here before. Good, slow down, take a breath, relax. Put it on to you, think about it for a second. Okay. Trying to righty. I'm not a righty, but I gotta do it righty anyway. Wrong here. box, turn your shoulder a little more. This box over here. Okay. Here we go. Switch it. Get one mean. and switch. Okay. Not bad. I like it. Go ahead. That's much better. That's much better. That's okay. okay. I want an extension in that. Okay. Does that make sense? And again, Ken's going to talk about what we do after that. But the idea is the actual moment of impact. Don't just try to hit one ball. Hit three. Does that make sense? Does it mean the follow up or should we do that? Well, I, 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 I like, to, like to finish a little bit more and make it like I hit a ten. Okay, like this. I don't want to stop on my contact point because the balls will go a little short when I stop early. So I'm going to finish it a little bit more. It's hot. A little hot. I have to tell everybody, it's a low to high serve. We cannot make contact point above our belly button or navel. It has to be contacted below your navel. You cannot hit like this. One of the gentlemen just asked like this, can we do this? Not allowed. It has to be like this, low to high, like you're bowling. Always? You never can make contact above oh, your belly button. Watch this. So this is an illegal too. Watch this. Illegal. Mm. We have to be low to high with the pendulum. Pendulum. Sorry. Human beings are result oriented. They want to see the result quickly. So they, the head goes up like this. So watch this. A lot of players do this. And, oh, I got lucky. I got that ball in that time. Okay. So. What we want to do is really hyper-focus on watching the ball into the middle of our paddle. Take a breath. Really watch it. We saw our target now. We saw our opponent. We're done. Now we're going to really watch the ball. Okay, really watch the ball. Don't go, oh, let me see if it went in or not. It will, the process will take care of itself, okay? A big one nowadays. Watch this. So it's going to go up. This is up. It's going to go short. Okay, so stay back there for a second. And I'm gonna go out on the ball a little bit more. Out, out. So my arm went further, went further this way instead of going up. Okay. So that, so the stance is good because once it's in, that's gonna be good. Not bad, not bad. So be careful of going here like this. Okay. What we want to do is make sure if you bounce it, still the pendulum in front of you, pendulum, and just go forward. Last third of the box is the last five steps inside the line here. Coach Mo talks about here. Paul, if I ask you, why not right here? Why can't Dale Abe right here? Why not? I'm standing right here. Ding, 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 the right answer. If he goes a little bit off, he might uh, might miss the serve. Excellent. Who is that guy? Wait a second. You're the wrong class. Rich, come up close, a little bit closer to the line, Rich. Yeah. And you can get, get a little more athletic and just push, just push. I'll give you, I'll give you the good news. This is the hardest shot you're gonna do today. Everything else is easy. This is hard. All right, we're gonna try also the backhand dink. The backhand dink, we're gonna turn the front of your hand is your forehand. The backhand is the back of your hand. Yep, so I'm gonna show you. Front of your hand is your forehand. Ready? Front of your hand is forehand. Guys, let me help the guys too, just in case you don't know this. I'll do it right here. Front of the hand is forehand. Back of the hand is back here. 
Okay. Carry on. Just push. Nice and light. All right, how are, we, how are we doing? All right, so what we want to do is stay close to the kitchen line, or also called a non-volley zone line. We don't want to go back three or four steps because then they can get it to your feet. What's the purpose of the line? The purpose of the line so giraffes like me can't come in here and just kill the ball on a fly all the time. You can come in here on a bounce, but you're not allowed to come into here and slam the ball. Anyone that can stretch the ball, man. I can do this. I can stretch as long as my feet are not touching the line. So, or I can go like this, but if I lose my balance, even two seconds later, I lose the point. Okay. I want to do something with our paddle. Our paddle is going to do something called a reload. We're going to reload our paddle each time because our paddle is a shield and it's a sword to attack. So, let's watch us. We're doing a dink, and then he's going to have his paddle up because I might not be so nice to him. I might shoot one at him. He was nice. Or the same thing might happen to me. He might shoot one at me. I'm gonna have my paddle up ready just in case he comes at me. Boom! So, so watch this. So here, my paddle's back up. My paddle's not down. My paddle's not down. So what, what happens if my paddle's down? Oh. You get scared, first of all. You might get hit with the ball, second of all. Or third of all, you're never gonna be able to defend or attack. Because when we volley, the ball's not a fly. Remember, if I do this, what is that? That's a fault. If I do this, that's a fault. If I do this, that's a fault. So he has to be cognizant or aware of his surroundings along the non-volley zone line. Now, just so you know a little history in the game, when the three guys made up the game, I actually met one of them, Bonnie McCallum. Their wives were the ones that came up with the kitchen. They said, let's just call this the kitchen. Now, because they didn't want to call it non-volley zone every time. <laughs> Imagine if you said that non-volley zone every time. It'd be too much. Okay, hit me in the stomach. Here we go. Good. Just punch forward. Just a punch. The volley is just a punch. This is, called, this is called a punch volley, by the way. Punch volley. We're just punching the ball. Not swinging, punching the ball. Punching the ball. Hop in right there. Follow up. Great. Come on over. Franny, squeeze and pop it. Here we go. Ready? Nice shot, right, Franny. You like this shot, Franny, huh? We never saw that. Never happened. Good. There you go. Oh, yeah. Can you come a little yeah. closer to that line? There you go. Squeeze yes. and pop it. Good. Next two players, please. Next, Next two. two. Next two players. Yeah. Paddles too much. Don't want you to drop them low. Good. Paddles are up. Good. Nice. Good. Yeah. yeah. There we I go. got it, coach. I got it. Uh oh. Why oh. nice. is that ball right there? You don't mind. Nice yep. Guy. Danger ball. Danger ball. Thank you. Ball. Oh. Oh. I'm out. Let's, let's help you. A lot of you are going to net because of this. Oh. Yeah. Why don't you go straight out? Some of the guys know if you ever watch boxing, it's like a jab. Right here. Right here. Out straight, not down. In pickleball, it's three numbers. Okay? And I think the reason why they came up, these three guys came up, that one of them was a senator out of Washington State, why they came up with this a little bit of a complex scoring system, is he wanted people to think. Right. So, these guys are great. They're gonna, go, they're gonna play against. They're gonna be our demonstration students. You know, let them play as a team. Dale and I are gonna start back as the serving team. We're gonna make like we're the ones that start. All right. So when we start the match, we always start the match saying zero. That's how many points that Dale and I have. Zero is how many points they have, and the last number is a one or a two. But we always start the match with a number two. Because it's sort of like a tiebreaker in tennis that we skip over the number one server because they feel like we have a big advantage by starting the match out. It's, not a, it's, a, it's only a slight advantage, actually. So I'm going to say the score will be zero points for us, zero points for them, and number two. So it will be zero, zero, two. The, the player on the right-hand side will always start the match. So if, if Dale and I say, he might say, Ken, start the match, I'm on the right-hand side. How do we play out a point? I serve into the box, hopefully. He returns anywhere in the court. Paul can return anywhere in the court. But preferably, he'd like to keep us back because there's another rule we haven't gone over today. It's called the double bounce rule. The double bounce rule is 
that the, when the ball gets returned to us, we cannot come up here and play Wimbledon. Oh, I used to love doing that. I still love doing it. But in pickleball, we gotta let the ball bounce one more time. So it has to bounce there, and it has to bounce here. Because they wanted to slow the game down too. Again, they didn't want players coming in here just winning the point quickly. So we have zero, zero, two, let's see what happens. Let it bounce. All right. So, so is he is he allowed to do now? He got anxious. He saw that. Is he allowed to do that? though? No. He came on a fly hit there. Now if he stayed if he stayed in just lean, if he leaned, he could do it. Play it out. Now we might take. Oh, he might go for the kill. Oh, who is this guy? Yeah, I'm going to tell you we got a new pro in town on the yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're trying from here. One, zero, one. So we see what happens. Bring it, Paul! Alright. Alright, so now it goes to the second server. Does anybody understand that? This sequence, only the first sequence of the match, you will get one server. Every other sequence, you will get two servers. So you're the second server. You're the second server. 102. 102. It's good. Let's play it out. All right, so now it goes to what? Franny knows. Franny says, send me that ball ball. It goes to a side out. Side out means it goes to the other team. Now, he served first last time. Why don't I get to serve first? He goes right to the side. Okay, okay I got to take her on a little bit. She knows all the rules. She knows all the rules. Yeah, you can not see it once. Correct. Just positions. Zero, one, one. We have zero still. Let's get some points. What? Let's get some points. Alright, so I would move to a different side now. I move to a different side. Is the line in? No. The line is good. The lines are good except for the kitchen line on the serve. So one, one, one. Alright, so we got lucky there, coach. We got lucky and we got two. One. One. Everyone's seeing the three now. Freddie, you're kind of hanging out back there. You're the one free. Good serve, Freddie. All right, Freddie, that was a really good serve. Come in on that try to hit it on the bounce. Okay. Second server. Second server. So zero, one, two. Now, Freddie stays back for the double bounce. That's where you're trying to get to. Good serve. Come on over. That's a point for this team. Freddie switches over to that side, Freddie. Two, one, two. Fritz goes back and Irene comes up. Yeah. One, one, two. That's where you're going to Alright, one, one, two. Here we go. Just missed. That's it. Okay, who's serving that one? Side out. Side out. Goes to this team. Side out. Side out. Franny, come on up. So. Did you score any points that sequence? Yeah, one. All right, so it's one, one, one. Does everybody understand why it's one, one, one? You had one point previously. They just received a point, so we got to keep the score of them. And then you're the number one server.